All right, guys. So we just got some gas. Start this baby up. you feel like the openness this car does and uh you know really fun to drive i really enjoy uh pressing the gas on it Super fun to drive, uh, really good handling. I have it in comfort right now. A lot of people going way below the speed limit, but that's okay. <laughs> Can't really do too much about that. But uh, really enjoying driving this right now. We got the, the sun shade going. Can't really see us in the back. Super nice feature. Um, and yeah, we just, we are cooling right now. Here's a picture of uh, 232. I'll put the radio on just a little bit. Um, but super driver oriented car. Super fun to drive. And uh, it's a beautiful day out, so. That, what, what else can you get? I mean, really can't get that much else to do. Um, four wheel drive system going on, four Matic. And it's just such a beastly car. Goes when you wanna go, just got Almost full tank of gas at the gas station. Um, let me show you the, the messages, the range. I don't know if you can see. Got 292 on the distance. That could get you pretty far. Um, gas, I think gas is pretty well in this car, to be honest. I think it does a good job. It really depends on how you're driving, for sure. But the best thing about Mercedes, I think, in my opinion, is the availability for the power distribution. If you really want to drive, you know, fast or quick, you can, it can certainly handle it effortlessly. But I mean, also at the same time, you can just cruise it like a, any other car and get good gas mileage and look pretty and be comfortable. So, it's really good engineering on on Mercedes part, even for this year being a 2005, way ahead of its time. I don't even think cars have these features now. I mean, if you look at it, the uh, heated seats, 
for 2005. I think this is just like a Mercedes thing. I don't know what other car really had it. I think it's like a European thing more just because of the climate they have. It's one thing I've noticed, but uh, look at that CT30 compressor. I, that's the other edition that's, you know, a little bit different than this one. Um, once I get out of the car, I'll show you around, but uh, the hood emblem on the front of the car is missing. That's one thing. I'll do probably like a DIY video on it, but uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I replaced the emblem on the back. I realized I've seen it on other cars too when I look online for used models of uh, the C240 or whatever um, configuration you want. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that they do not offer. Uh, wow, that sun is super bright right now. Glad that the sun's out, but uh, super bright. Effortlessly glide through these uh, manual transmission. Very solid car, good transmission. Um, the uh, factor is with this, I believe, so I'm not 100%, but I do think that the transmission they put on this car, um, the five speed, I, th I usually see it on the all wheel drive platform. So the formatic, the uh, there's a lot of power output going on into the wheels. And I believe the transmission is uh, similar or m maybe the same. I can't 100% say. I, I would have to look online to be 100% sure, but I do think that the five speed transmission is uh, used across other platforms on Mercedes, especially with the all wheel drive, uh, all wheel drive system they have. Nowadays it's all seven speed and I think I don't even think they have nine speed on the newest ones. Um, but the five speed uh, transmissions are really I'm pretty sure they're pretty solid just because that they were used in the V8 platforms, the 500 series. Um, and uh, Yeah, so they're just well, well equipped cars used everywhere. Um, super, super reliable in my opinion, just because that this output model with the engine um, transmission is pretty safe. I believe. Not knock on wood. I mean, I I love this Mercedes. I don't want to, you know, say any bad vibes to it, but uh, transmissions I think is pretty solid and uh, really well made so well made transmission um, nice platform it's on and yeah so turning in right here So yeah, we have we have the footage. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, probably continue on later. Uh, please like this video. Comment down below what you want, else you want to see at the GoPro. Got a lot of stuff I could show you. Good ideas, and uh, we'll, we'll continue on. So thank you for watching, and peace.